We're back out here on Terra Raw. There's still a few diamonds that I missed from this map, so that's going to be the main thing for this one. However, I cannot go here and not check out my favorite fallow deer spot. And over there, we have a kind of big level 4 fallow deer drinking. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more daily Call of the Wild content. And let's just see if we manage to start off this video with a gold. He's not very big. He's not very big. It is a gold, though. <laughs> Yeah, actually made it by nearly 20 points, but still, guys, the Fallow Deer, probably one of my favorite things about Terra Roar. The map in itself, I'm not too impressed with, but the amount of Fallow Deer you can find in this map, it's godlike. And you know that I quite often talk about quite a few Fallow Deers in uh, Terra Roar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this place is a godsend. And this right here is pretty much also why we need whitetails on another map of course we don't have anything really big or um yeah we do have a few goals but we don't have any diamonds but we are going to be taking down at least two decent sized gold maybe even three if i can hit the shots i think we did but just look at the sheer amount because that right there basically seems to me than the more than the entire population of fallow deer that I've ever seen on Hirschfelden. And there is just so many places right here. This one is right down here at the very east of the river. I've been running from this outpost up here just and basically spooked every of the fallow deer down to this area. And uh, well, you saw it with your own eyes, I hope. How many of them that actually made it down here? And there we have a first gold. I think the other two probably is gold as well, unless I messed up the shot on this guy, because I'm not too sure if I hit that in the face with the second one. I did not. That's another gold. And uh, last but not least, another gold. Is this going to be the guy we're going to try? Can I get there without getting discovered and take him down with a bow? I'd really like to not have to use those damn arrows on him, but are we going to try that? I feel like it could at least be a, a decent attempt. He's um, about 250 out as it is, so we can walk a little and then we need to be sneaky boy. And then I'm going to have to aim with the arrows that I have no idea how to hit anything with. But um, we're going to try. I mean, I suppose we might as well train on these guys. See if we can hit anything. Oh, I mean, that kind of worked. Still sneaking our way over there. We spotted him down there. So still quite a bit away. And hopefully we're not going to be spooking him going there. But at least getting an idea of where we need to aim with the longbow probably isn't a bad shout right now. Pick him up. Yeah, perfect shot. Oh, we actually went a little high. Okay, nice to know. He's 110 out. And no freaking way I'm going to try to stick him from this distance. I do need to be kind of careful, though, because I really don't want him to start moving around. Right now, he has, like, a perfect angle and everything. But we need to get a lot closer. And I have no idea when we're going to be spooking them. Ah, oh, god dang it. <laughs> I don't want to do this. But I need to say that I've sticked a diamond and uh, might as well try with a fallow deer. <sighs> I just don't like that I have to shoot him with arrows that I have no idea how to aim with. Anyway, let's uh, get down on the ground and get a little closer. 50 and here we are losing him behind the hill if we go closer i uh, do i want to do that i feel like we might be spooking him away by doing so but i also feel like if we get that close is there any way that i can mess it up even at, even i would have a chance with that distance right i have no idea how close we are now guys want to get the bow out it's already ready we have the right arrows on we have 20 meter zero Everything we need to worry about is basically hit the dang target, right? And not have him run off. 30 meters. Oh! <laughs> Did I just stick him? Did I go too high? Did I go too low? Did we actually just do this? Did I really just get my first diamond or potential diamond with the longbow? Come on, be nice, be nice, be nice. He's not big enough. He's not big enough. <laughs> he wasn't even close to being big enough. <laughs> oh, so much work for a gold. God damn it. But at least I hit it. At least I hit the shot. Oh, what a perfect shot that was as well. Well, 
I'm not gonna yeet it with the bow, but I am gonna yeet it. Oh, not with that gun, though. Because that could potentially be a diamond. And... That is a long shot. That'd be really hard to get a diamond with that fur variation if that is gonna be a diamond. That would be amazing. Would be very happy to see that. That was a big four. Alrighty then, let's see, medium bleed rate, that should be a vital, I'm pretty sure, it did die pretty dang quick as well, uh, I don't think they're gonna be big enough, just a gold, <laughs> troll a roar, god dang it, all of them piggies, and uh, I want that one right there. As a level 4, unfortunately, it's uh, kind of going down a hole. It is right in the zone change time as well, so uh, we're going to have them running off slowly. But if we can get that, I think that's the brown hybrid one. Um, that would be pretty decent. It's the biggest one out here, at least. So uh, if we can get a nice little shot in at that, we could probably do the 22 trick on this guy. Have a look here. And he is alert. Just alert. That's not going to cut it. That is... I really hope I didn't end up hitting it in the face. But, I mean, it was quite far out, so... Probably just a flesh wound in the bottom of the chest. Holy piggy army. All of them females? Aww. Ah, oh, there's a single male. But, we are now here with our... Please don't hit the face. We didn't. That's actually a decent shot on the second one. But the first one, yeah, we did go just a tiny bit low, unfortunately. But still a nice looking piggy. The amount of big feral goats you'll find running the river. I actually wanted to go and find all of the diamonds that I don't have yet. But I just can't help myself. Once I get started out here, I need to go and at least check the servers. If there is any good feral goats and fallow deers because there's just so many of them at the same spot and right out there we have a humongous level four the forests actually quite often do make diamond but i do want to see if we can just get around here and hopefully have him turn a little i'm not too comfortable making this shot but we could get to this little island right here and i think that should be working with the two oh he's attentive i mean that probably wouldn't be the worst thing if we can make him move around a little can we make him see us and he's alert. Let's go. Get the 243 out. Do not shoot these with the M1. And um, I've shot three <laughs> level fives with the M1. And none of them would have actually made it. But still, whenever you go and actually pick them up and be like, oh, that's the wrong gun. Yeah, you just kind of feel a little happy that uh, you didn't mess it up because it wasn't big enough. But I need this guy to turn around. Please. Come on. Oh, there we go. He's stopping. He's going to take a right turn. Oh, that might be shot too high. I think... I don't know. <laughs> I don't think the first of the... Well, the second shot hit him, but I think the third probably was all right. I'm pretty sure we ended up going at just a tiny bit too high. Although... I I don't know. He did die, and he did drop quite fast, so I, I don't know where the second one hit. The third one definitely did hit him, so uh, we just need to not have uh, hit him with the second one. So, yeah, that's not too good. <laughs> I think we should be able to... Oh, no. We actually did get a vital hit on the very, very first shot we made. So if I've hit him three times, I have potentially just messed up a... Uh, what could have been a diamond right here by being a little too eager on the trigger. But I'm pretty sure the second one did not hit. And if it did, well, let's just pray he wasn't big enough then. I don't think he's going to be big enough. But uh, we'll have a quick look right here. He's not. He's only 230. But we did actually get right long on the first shot. It just took forever for him to bleed out. But then, um, hey, it is what it is. We didn't mess up a diamond, but it is a beautiful looking level four.
I do have a Seeker Diamond, and uh, I know very well this one is not going to be one either, but he does look nice, and he is the spotted variation. That is probably my favorite. Which of them is your favorite of the uh, Seeker Deer? Seeker Deer is not really a deer that does a ton for me. It's just a nice opportunity kill once in a while to find, and uh, if you are running the river, you're bound to find a ton of these in their drink zone. So if you make the entire river run, You'll start off with fallow deer, the feral goats, and you'll end up with the seeker deer if you do. I usually go out around 9 a.m. and then I just run the entire river up until the area where you start hitting the bridge over here. Because I never find any anything in between in this area. It's just big hills. And uh, generally I just don't hunt it. Then I fast travel down here and run this area up here. And here we found a decent level for seeker another gold not anything big but then um, i do love this spotted variation of their fur the animals that i still miss diamonds of on this map is the chamois and it's the feral pig right down there is probably the biggest male pig that i've seen or not i don't think i've seen a level one with the low estimate weight as well i mean this is basically a piglet but I want him dead. <laughs> I want to see just how small these piggies can be. Unfortunately, we did not get a diamond, but we did get a level 1 piglet at 75.07 kilo. Wait, wasn't this estimate only up to 75? I don't know, but I would imagine this is probably the smallest you'll find the uh, feral pig males at 75 kilos. At least that seems to make sense. I don't know. I've never seen one before. If you have, please leave it in the comments down below. And guys, thank you so very, very much for watching.